I want to give you a bonus lesson on how to draw each of the clefts that we've talked about. So for our treble clef, we're going to start by circling around where G is, just a little bit above G. We're going to circle almost to the line above it, almost to the B. We're going to circle back around almost to the E and just spiral out, little cinnamon bun kind of shape. We go above the staff, and then we loop over, and then go straight down to below the staff, and curl back. So you think we've got the first arc, loop around, curve up, loop around and come down, and curve over. And you should be able to do it with one single stroke of your pen or pencil without having to pick it up. Looks like this. Around, up, down, around. Around, up, down, around around, up, down, around. With a little bit of practice, you'll get it in no time. Base clef, considerably easier. You put a large dot on the fourth line F, you curl around almost to the line above it, and then back to the center. It reminds some people of like half of a heart. Then you put a dot in the middle of the space where G is, and a dot in the middle of the space where E is, so they outline the line for F. Again, dot on F, around and down, dot, dot. One more time, dot on F, around and down, dot, dot. Simple as that. The C clef or alto clef gives people a lot of trouble. There's several different ways you can do it. Most of my students think that this is the easiest way where you start on C and you make an arrow and then you curl around and make a dot. Curl around and make a dot. And then the C clef actually has two lines just to the side of it. That's part of the clef. Now, if you see this printed out, this line's gonna be thicker, but when you're drawing it, it's not a big deal that you do it that way. Again, we're going to start with an arrow, then curl around and make a dot, curl around and make a dot, and then two lines. Some people find it a little easier to make the dots first, Some people find it easier to make the dots and then the arrow and then connect them. It's up to you. Uh, I guess the one last way that people might do it is they do that all in one stroke. So really any of those are gonna work for you. The important part is that we end up with the arrow pointing to where we want C to be. If that arrow's not in the right place, then all of a sudden our alto clef turned into a totally different form of the C clef. So hopefully that helps you out and helps your clefs look a little bit better when you're writing your own music.